in this video we are going to discuss some more objectives so the first objective is that we are supposed to check which of this elements is not a zero divisor of z10 so we know that a uh, element is a uh, which is relatively prime with 10 will become a unit so here we see that 2 and 10 are having gcd2 3 and 10 are having gcd1 and 4 and 10 are also having gcd2 and 5 and 10 are also having uh, the gcd is 5 okay so this means that uh, this indicates that we have to pay special attention at uh, 3 because 3 is relatively prime with 10 so 3 becomes a unit this means that 2 4 and 5 all will become the zero divisors of z10 because 2 into 5 is 0 and uh, 4 into 5 is 20 and 20 modulo 10 will also become zero so this means two five and four all are zero divisors and the person which is not a zero divisor is three the next question is uh, which of these rings is not an integral domain we clearly know that uh, an integral domain is a commutative ring with unity so here i know that 2z has no unity so clearly 2z will, be, will will not be an integral domain the next question is which of these rings is again not an integral domain as mentioned again it should be a commutative ring with unity so here you see that uh, m2r is non commutative ring so clearly m2r will not be an integral domain the next question is uh, which of the following is not a field here you see that q zp if p is a prime and complex numbers all these are fields and 2z is uh, not a field because it has no unity so clearly a field must contain a unity so here z to uh, 2z is not a field the next question is which of the following rings is not an integral domain again here real uh, reals is a field so it is obviously an integral domain z11 is also field so that is also an integral domain q root 2 is also a field so that is not an integral domain so z cross z is not an integral domain because 1 0 into 0 1 will give me how much will give me 0 0 this means 1 0 will become a 0 divisor in the ring z cross z so this means that z cross z is not an integral domain so the option is d the eighth question is if an integral domain has five elements then what can you say about integral domain we know that every finite integral domain has to be a has to be a field so we conclude that it must be a field it cannot be commutative this option is wrong because integral domain is commutative integral domain must contain a unity and integral domain cannot contain zero divisors so this three options are wrong so we conclude that it must be a field the next question is cancellation laws hold in which type of ring we know that if you want to uh, write a b is equal to a c and if you want to conclude that b is equal to c this is basically the the cancellation law and for this we must have that the ring should not have zero divisors if the ring should not have zero divisors means the ring must be what the ring must be an integral domain the next question is if you are working in a boolean ring and you, and you know that in boolean ring x square is equal to x for all x okay and if i take a and b which are in the boolean ring and their addition is again coming to be zero so uh, r is a boolean ring here so i have a and b which are in the boolean ring and a plus b is coming to be zero then what can i say about a and b is the product zero are the two elements a b equal can i say that they are not equal or i cannot conclude any any from the above these so what what is the uh, solution for this particular problem we know that in a boolean ring if you have x square is equal to x 
then in my video of boolean ring you will find that we have proved that in a boolean ring x plus x is always equal to zero means 2x is always equal to zero in short i'm trying to tell you that boolean ring has characteristic the characteristic of boolean ring is what is always two okay so i have x plus s x is equal to zero now if i have a plus b is equal to zero this means that this zero can also be written as a plus a because a plus a is zero by this property because boolean ring has characteristic two and therefore when i cancel the a from the left hand side by the left cancellation law i will get b is equal to a so i can conclude that this b must be equal to a so this is the correct option with this this video ends here